Good morning. Everybody view. So, one of your blocks, and again, if you don't have blocks, I highly encourage you to purchase them. The long way. Sit on it the long way. Yeah, so go ahead and mute yourself, Maxine, if you can. It's okay. And then turn your camera down a little bit if possible. And so I'm sitting on the block with my knees in front and my feet behind me. If that's not comfortable, you can come into um, any other position, sitting cross leg, whatever feels right for you right now. Close your eyes for a few moments and just find your spine lengthening. So reach the crown of your head to the sky. And again, bring the tailbone underneath you so you're just um, rolling a little bit in front or on top of your sitting bones. And then uh, close your eyes, gaze at the tip of your nose. Just settle into this time, this moment. You know, this is our opportunity to um, remove ourselves from everything else going on around us. And it's never the easiest thing to do initially, but once you get on that mat, you know, just stay present and focused on one breath at a time. Each consecutive breath flows as sweetly and smoothly as the breath before. So it becomes a link of the inhales and the exhales. As we start to move, we link the breath with the movement. So it comes like a, a moving meditation. I didn't make that name up. Or a dance seamlessly flowing from one movement to the other. And that's where the uh, practice comes in as you begin to move and you begin to link the breath with the movements, how simply and smoothly we can connect to each movement. So no stress. Breathe in and out. So just close your eyes a little bit more moments and gaze towards the tip of the nose if you're not already and bring your hands to your heart center. Gently allow your chin to come down just a little bit towards your chest and here you can send an intention, set an intention for yourselves, maybe for all of us. Find every moment of peace and power in each moment that we're here. Feeling that intention to the space between the two brows, touching the third eye, thumbs, gently vibrating, but massaging that violet color between the two brows, six chakra, that sensitive point of vision, intuition. And then take the hands to the top of your head, palms together. Relax the shoulders down, bring the belly and ribs down. And then stretch the arms all the way up over your head. Separate your hands. Roll the wrists around a couple times in each direction. Play with the fingers like you're playing the piano. And then float them out to your sides. Allow your chin to come down towards your chest. Roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Walk your left fingertips out to the left side. Relax the shoulders down. Maybe take your right hand and guide your ear towards your shoulder. It's up to you. And then tucking the chin towards the right collarbone. Walking your left hand a little further back towards the back corner of your mat. Release the hand, drop the chin towards the chest. Roll your left ear to your left shoulder. I'll admit that my neck woke up kind of stiff this morning. Take your left arm, gently guide the ear towards the shoulder, and perhaps gently guide your chin towards your collarbones. Walk your right hand back a little further. And then release your hand, drop your chin to your chest. Walk your fingers behind you, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles down. Lift your chest, lift your heart, lift your eye gaze up. Squeeze your elbows and shoulders towards each other. 
So we're not excessively arching the back, but we're pulling the shoulders open. And then inhale, release your hands in front of you, interlace your fingers, press the palms forward, and this time pull the belly into the spine and rock back away from your sitting bones. Inhale, rise up. Turn to your right side and let the arms release in both directions, left arm outside, right thigh, right hand behind you. Using each inhalation to give you length in your spine and each exhalation to give you the depth. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Lean to the left side. Cross the right arm over the left arm on your thigh. And then bring your arms up and double the cross or just hold on to your shoulders for eagle arms. Lift the arms, lift the heart. Keeping tension out of your neck and shoulders. Exhale, come down, bow your chin down. Hinge forward and let your pinky side of your fingers rest on the floor. Pull your belly to your spine so it's a little bit more like a rounded cat pose. Using the strength of your abdominal muscles, pressing the tops of your feet chin down. Round yourself to sit back up. Inhale, release the arms overhead. Exhale, interlace your fingers the other way. And turn to your left side. Notice one side may go a little bit with more, a little, uh, little bit more space than the other. Just notice it. And then release your hands right outside left, left hand behind you. Inhale and exhale. Just letting the breath move freely through the body. Inhale your left arm up and over. And exhale, cross it in front. Wrap once or twice to bring the arms up. Lift your heart, lift your eye gaze. Exhale, come down round and curl your spine as the pinky sides of the uh, fingers come to the floor around your spine. Inhale, chin to chest, roll back up. Exhale, release the arms all the way overhead. Touch the palms together, bring the prayer back to the heart. Inhale, hinge forward to your hands and knees. Move your block off to the side. Take whatever you need for your knees to be supported or not. And then keeping the arms out a little bit in front of you, a little bit further, not right under your shoulders, we'll do some cat cows in this position. So the rounding of the spine and the dropping of the hips and a couple of cha uh, cat cows with a slightly longer torso. And then we can move easily from here into some circular motions and even forward and back a little bit deeper. So you can take it into a big circle in one direction And then if you're circling, go in the other direction. Just freely letting your body move. Don't you know worry about form so much as just free flowing movement. And then go forward and back a few more times, just forward and back, dropping the hips and then pushing the hips to the heels. You got a couple rounds here. And then the next time you find yourself in that child's pose with your hips back, stay in child's pose, opening your knees wide. Spread your fingers out in front of you. Spread the fingers apart. Push the heel of the hand down. Relax your shoulders and breathe. Press down through the hands and engage the muscles underneath the arms, wrapping them around the shoulders so there's no collapsing into the shoulders or the shoulder blades. But it's a very energetic movement. Taking another breath. Inhale, pull yourself up to a cat, a cow pose, excuse me. And then find your neutral position between the two positions. Body is parallel to the floor. Step your right foot back and tuck the toes underneath you. Rock a little bit forward and back on the balls of your feet. Your left foot is nice and strong into the, the foot, uh, the floor, the top of the foot shin. And then lift the right leg off the floor as you stay centered, hips are squared, right leg back, welcome back Leah. 
Round and curl your spine, knee to chest, all the way in, pull the belly up. Look between your hands and step it on through. So adjust your right knee over the ankle. Make sure that you are not putting too much pressure onto the knee. And of course, here's where I love to start with some blocks under my hands, pull the shoulders back and down. Pushing the left top of the foot, shin down. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. So keep sending the left hip towards the floor, releasing some of that tension in, you know, a, a lot of us sit a lot all day. Um, you really need to get up and stand and stretch your hip flexors out because they, they connect to the spine, so they pull on the spine when they're tight. Now take your left foot to the right side just a little bit. Take your right hand inside your right thigh, foot floor block. Left hand moves to your hip and just turn your torso without lifting your left arm just yet. Find the movement of the torso. So push your tricep and your thigh against each other on the right side and then let your left hand guide your left hip and shoulder open. Then begin to bring your left arm up. So find some nice length underneath the body. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Good, release the hand, turn the back foot forward. Stretch your right leg straight. Walk the hands and or the blocks back. You can be on a higher block. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. So squaring off your pelvis to the best of your ability. And don't worry about if the leg is straight or bent. Keep your left hand down, right hand to your hip, and then rotate your torso to the right side. So same thing on the opposite side. You know, we're just working in a different uh, fashion. Of course, our front leg is straight, so it challenges our balance even more. And then maybe the right arm comes up. So my right leg is not perfectly straight. It's, it's just not gonna happen for me. But now I can find some space in my torso to rotate. Breathe in, breathe out, reaching up and down in two directions. One more breath. Exhale, right hand down. Rebend right knee. Take your hands to the floor, tuck your left toes underneath you. Lift the left knee up off the floor. Keep your hips low for a breath. And then step back into a downward facing dog, hips up in the air. Bend one knee at a time. and find your downward dog and settle in for a few moments here. So it's gonna feel different for each one of us, it's gonna look different for each one of us, but the basics are there. The weight shifts from the hands to the heels, the head is soft, so you're looking towards your, maybe towards your navel point, maybe towards your toes. Strengthen the arms and the feet, so the arms are pushing outward and the feet are pushing outward. So you have energy through the entire body, while some people might call this a recovery pose or a resting pose, sometimes it is, sometimes it's power. Take another breath, rise up onto your tippy toes, engage your quadricep muscles by pulling your knees up. Now put a rounded spine here, chin to chest, your upper back rounds, and then come forward, and then come into your plank pose. Good. Lower your right knee to the floor. Keep your left toes where they are and maybe walk your hands back if you need to. Oh yeah, top of the foot shin down. Roll through the left foot a little bit, just making some subtle movements. And then come to center and extend the left leg off the floor. Hips are squared, toes point down. Reach and lengthen away from your center point like we did yesterday in class, I think we talked about not only do we lift the leg up and find energy there, but we lengthen it and find depth and space. Point your toes round and curl your spine and step your left foot through. Oops, help it out if you need to. Place your hands on the floor blocks and just get the weight away from your right knee by shifting your back leg further back and your front knee over your ankle. Draw your collarbones open, pull your shoulders back, big toe presses down. One more breath. Now turn your right toes to the left. 
take your left hand inside your right left foot, right hand to your hip, and the tricep and the thigh are gonna connect to each other as you begin to spin your torso open. So bringing your tailbone underneath you, hugging your left hip in, and then if you'd like and you have the space, right arm reaches up. So think of this like a side angle pose, which I would say this is maybe a premonition. Right, breathe, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Inhale, exhale. Good, that's the next breath, hands down, exhale. Turn your back foot forward and begin to straighten your front leg. Now again, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Hips are squared. You might have your blocks back higher or maybe they stay on the low. Good, lengthen your chest. Right hand stays down, left hand moves to your hip. So now we're turning towards the left leg. Working again to turn, rotate the torso, stack the shoulders, and then maybe the left arm comes up. So your balance gets challenged. Do whatever you have to do to uh, you know, help it out, right? You can have your leg bent, you can have your hands down. Breathe in, breathe out. Just make it successful for you, whatever that might be. One more breath. Good, exhale the breath, hands to the floor, re-bend your front knee. Good, hands to the floor blocks, tuck your back toes underneath you, come into a low lunge first. And by that, we're just lifting up the knee, we're not lifting up the hips. And look forward, crown of the head forward, hips go back. Take this breath to step yourself into a downward facing dog. Well, my feet don't wanna move on my mat today. And walk your dog side to side. When you're ready, settle in for a few breaths in your downward facing dog, finding the energy, pushing out from the pinky sides of your fingers and toes. Good, round your spine on this inhaling breath. So pull your belly in and just put a little bit of a hump in the upper back. And keep that as you shift forward and then find yourself in a plank. And from here, shift forward, lower your hips into that upward dog variation, and then find yourself back in downward facing dog. Bend your knees, walk your dog. And then walk your feet to the top of the mat. Coming into a standing forward bend, hands can be on the blocks, on the floor, on the shins, or maybe you grab opposite elbows and hang. So shift the weight so the heels are underneath the hips. So your weight goes to the balls of your feet. Let your head come down, shake it out, yes, shake it out, no. Switch the cross of the arms. And then just release the arms, let them dangle. Tuck your chin to your chest, pull the belly in, just like we did in that down dog. Round your middle upper back. Keep that rounded spine as you drag all the stamp. Take your time. When you come up, your head comes up, shoulders roll back and around a couple times. And then open up your arms so the palms face forward. This is really called an anatomical position. So when you see a skeleton, this is the position. Right, knees are lifted, tailbone rolls underneath you, collarbone spread, chin is parallel to the floor, crown of the head to the sky. The legs are very, very active. So just standing up with this is not gonna give us the energy, the strength, the power. So use your body and use the earth energy rising through it. Take a breath as you stretch the arms overhead. Touch the palms together. Exhale, open the arms and fold down. Touch the floor, round your spine to come up. Stretch the arms overhead with you. Take them back, open up halfway, roll down or fold down. Touch the floor, shins blocks. Inhale, let's go up with a flat spine. Bring the arms up and then take it down one more time. And let's stay in this down position, forward fold, Uttanasana. 
Inhale onto your fingertips, broaden your collarbones. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Bring your hands behind your calves or ankles or heels. Bring your forearms behind your calves and fold your body in half to the best of your hamstrings and back ability. So it could be a very bent knee, but again, shift your weight into the balls of your feet. So your hips go over your heels. It feels like you're gonna fall forward. And let go of the breath. Keep breathing in and out. One more time, breathe in and out. And this time, place your hands on your shins and lengthen your spine. Place your hands to your hips and rise up to standing. Bring your feet together. And if being balanced uh, to you is a wider foot, a wider stance, then bring it closer, wider, whatever you have to do. Roll your shoulders back around. Hi, Cindy, good morning. Bring the arms overhead, touch the palms to prayer. Open swan dive or fold through center. Good morning. Hands to floor, shins or blocks, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step your right foot back. Nice, generous step. You can go back to the knee if you'd like. All right, so keep your hands on the floor or blocks. Left thigh parallel to the floor. Collarbones are broadened. Good, back leg is strong, firm, active. Now, take your back foot and turn it on its side. Heel to heel, heel to alignment, heel to instep alignment. Um, but you know, wider is also acceptable for a lot of us, myself included. Take your left hand on your thigh. Don't put a lot of weight into it. Try to stay energetic through your torso. And then take your right hand to your hip. And just like we did on the floor, and just like that, stack your shoulders, left thigh parallel to the floor. Lift your arm up and know that you're not putting all your weight into it because your torso will not move if it's not. And then stretch the right arm up, side angle pose. Bring your tailbone underneath you. Reach your right arm up, pressing firmly through both feet. Take another breath. Good, look down at your left toes. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale. Let's straighten the front leg for a moment. Adjust your arms so they're over each heel. And then re-bend your left knee. Pull your right arm back. So warrior two, left leg is forward. Now, once you get into the pose, you start to, I want to use the word perfect it because we never perfect it, but we get into the spaces. So the knee is in line with the hip over in line with the ankle, second, third toes. Your back foot is slightly forward. Your hips drop down. There's energy through the entire body. Right arm down, left arm up for your side, up for your reverse warrior. Bring your right hip closer to your left thigh. So you're lifting up and back. Inhale back to warrior two. Exhale, bring your hands to the blocks or the floor. Spin your back foot forward. Right arm stays, left arm moves to the hip, turn to the left side. Left arm comes up, twist. Good. Stay here for one more breath. Then if your eye gaze can look down at your toes to start, straighten your left leg. So it's like a really wide um, worry, uh, revolved triangle. Breathe in, breathe out. Hug your hips to midline. Stay with the torso to the left, but bend your left knee again. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Look forward, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, let it go. And make your way to standing, bring your arms with you overhead. Take prayer to your heart center. Release your arms by your side. Okay, ground yourself. So think of coming back to this like home base as a place to kind of compose yourself, recompose yourself. And then we begin again. Inhale the arms up overhead. Open up the arms or take them through center. Exhale, hands to floor, shins or block. Inhale with a halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot all the way back. Low lunge, so it's a generous step back. 
Right leg is forward, left leg is back. Breathe in and breathe out. Broaden your collarbones, hug your hips to the center. And then turn your left toes on their side. And you decide the width for your hips, for your body. And bring your right arm, uh, right hip, excuse me, inside. Take your right arm on top of your thigh, but check it out that you're not putting all your weight into it. So if you lift your arm and you collapse, you know you're holding your weight with your arm. Take your left hand to your hip and turn your torso to the left side. So this is nice, it's open, right? We don't have anything obstructing us on the left side, unless it's a piece of furniture, but other than that. And then keep working the torso open. And when you find the, the biggest stretch for your body, then you can take the left arm up over your shoulder. But keep checking, are you putting your weight into your right arm or are you holding the weight through your torso and your legs? Strong. Your back toes are pressing down to the floor, but they're turning slightly to the front corner. Inhale and exhale. Good. Look down at your left to right toes. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. We're gonna back out of it for a breath. And then rebend, warrior two. So our, our hands are over our feet. That's how wide they are. Pull back with your left arm forward with your right arm, gaze at your right thigh, right hand. Or if you want your gaze to be to the left side, that's fine. Wherever you find your gaze, just find it a steady point, right? Stay with it. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, release your left arm, right arm comes up. Bring your um, left hip towards your right knee or thigh. So you're just getting a little bit more lift out of the left side of your torso. Great. One more breath. Good, inhale back through warrior two. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Bend your front knee or keep it bent. Left hand to the floor blocks, right hand to your hip. Turn your torso to the right side. And then bring the right arm up over your shoulder. Breathe in and out. Stacking shoulders, rotating through the torso. You can stay with this, or maybe you want to straighten your front leg. Breathe. So obviously, changing the, the straightening of the front leg is going to change your balance somewhat, perhaps. Maybe it's not obvious. Maybe you're that balance. Good for you. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Now, re-bend your front knee. Hands come to the floor. Step together, top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. This time you grab piece finger grip around your big toe. Take your thumbs in between your fingers and your toes. Look forward, inhale. And exhale, bring the elbows out to the side. Head down towards your shins. Again, the weight is forward, so the hips are over the heels, and they feel like you might feel like you're falling a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. And then inhale, come halfway up. Bring your hands to your heart. Rise up to stand. Release your arms by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, hands to floor, shins, or blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Step, step to a high plank on that exhale. Hold the plank for a breath. Shift forward, elbows over, or shoulders over wrists. Go to your knees or stay with a straight leg. Come halfway down, elbows and shoulders in line. Roll over your toes, upward dog. Thighs off the floor, top of the toes pressing down. Exhale, downward facing dog. That is Surya A, Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskara. Salute to the sun. Inhale on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look forward. Take yourself to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise up to stand. Bring your hands to prayer. Prayer to the heart center. Release your arms down. Try that again. Inhale, bring the arms up. Now you can fold to your center or take your swan dive. You choose. Halfway lift, inhale. So here comes your rhythmic 
Exhale, stay for a breath this time. Lower halfway on the exhalation. Inhale, upward dog. So I don't want you to rush through the chaturangas because they're hard. I'd rather you put your knees on the floor, right? Or you want to add chaturangas, that's up to you. Inhale and exhale. On your toes, bend your knees, take yourself to the top of your mat, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press down to rise up. Bring the prayer to your heart. Exhale, let the arms come by your side. Then one more time to your A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold your way, hands to floor, shins, blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back, high plank to low plank. Take your time. Build up your energy, you'll never build up your strength if you rush through it and you skip through the major parts. Bring your feet together, rise onto your tippy toes, float your right leg high in the sky, bend your right knee, lower your left heel, square your shoulders. You can flex the point, you can bend through the knee, ankle, hip, make any movements you need, explore a little bit. And then turn your hips square. Right knee to chest, round and curl. Step forward to a high plank. Look between your hands. Take your right foot through. Turn your left foot on its side. Bring your right hand inside the right leg or now on top again. Left arm comes up, side angle pose. Stacking shoulders. So think about pushing your knee away at the same time as you're pushing your knee towards your arm, or you're pushing away with your arm and pushing in with your knee. Good. Take your left arm, take it back and over your head. So here you might have to elevate your hand a little higher. Breathe, palm down, thumb slightly rotated to the sky, right thigh parallel to the floor, breathe in, breathe out. Look down at your right toes. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Back out of it, one breath. Rebend, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Good, from this reverse, let's straighten our front leg. Bring your arms back up, shoulder height. Adjust your hips so they're a little bit more parallel. Shorten your back foot in once or twice if you need that. Bring your hips back to the left and torso to the front, triangle pose, reaching out. Don't go down until you can't reach out anymore. Right hand inside, outside, foot, shin, or block. Bringing the tailbone underneath you. I like this little trick of taking my left piece finger grip underneath my right ribs. If I can't find my ribs, I know I'm collapsing my body weight onto my hands and thigh. So lift your torso up. That might mean you have to bring your hand higher up your leg. Just don't put it on your knee. Inhale and exhale. Another big breath. Look down. Inhale, rise up, adjust your torso. So now I'm just gonna move my block and turn my toes to the long side of the mat facing the left side. So we shorten our stance, you might need to widen it again. Take your arms out shoulder height, tuck your tailbone underneath you. So find all the length through the torso right up to the top and crown of your head, inhale. Take your right arm under your left once or twice like we did in our warm up. Lift your arms up. I say warm up, but it's all a warm up, isn't it? <laughs> Lift your heart. Exhale, bring your arms down. Soften your knees a little bit. Hinge forward, point your fingertips towards the floor. Then when you get there, maybe you straighten your legs. Again, the weight shifts forward, head down towards the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep your hands as they are as you rise up to stand. Release your arms up overhead, inhale. Right toes turn forward, exhale, warrior two, inhale. Windmill your hands to the floor. Spin your back foot forward, left hand stays, right hand comes up, twist. And decide if that's where you wanna stay or you're gonna straighten the front leg as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. That's why blocks are great here. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Good. Exhale, hands to the floor. Look forward. Step back, three-legged dog. Right leg is back in the air. Open the hip. Square your shoulders. So get used to one part of your body moving with the other one not. And then let both feet come to the floor. You can stay in your dog. You can take any form of a vinyasa you want with extra push-ups, without any push-ups. And you can just go to that down dog like we did a little earlier. Go along, me back in downward facing dog. If child poses where you need to be, stay there. Find the energy in the arms. So really feel like you can transfer your weight to the heel of your hands and the heels of your feet. And then bring your left leg in the air, come high on your right toes. Bend your left knee, open your hip. Perhaps lower your right heel. So any movement you might have made on the other side, welcome it back on this side. Now keep your knee bent as you turn to the center. Round and curl, shifting yourself to a plank pose. Look forward. Step your left foot through. Turn your right foot on its side. Grab a block if you'd like. Left hand on the inside. Or now you can go back to your hand on your thigh. Right hand to your hip. Right arm up. Side angle pose with the hand on the inside of your foot. So, you know, wherever you'd like your hands to be, it's gonna work for you. You might need to be higher up on your fingertips on the block. Stay here, take the right arm back and overhead. Palm down, thumb up. So there's a slight rotation at the shoulder at the same time as the reach is forward. Just like we talked about with the legs. Not only do you lift, but you lengthen. Take a big breath. Good. Inhale, right arm comes back up. Warrior two, stand up. Straighten your front leg. Rebend it. Pulling in two directions. Inhale. Right arm down, exhale, left arm up. Bringing your right hip towards your left knee. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, stand up. Adjust your feet. You might have to shorten your stance. And then adjust your hips as you then move the right hip to the back of the room. Reach your left arm forward. Reach out, 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 out. Left arm down, right arm up. Stacking shoulders. So here's the little peace finger trick. Take your two peace fingers, right hand. Bring them underneath your bottom ribs if you can't find them. Bring your hand up higher so you can, or take a little bit of the weight out of the bottom hand, and then come back to your triangle pose. Inhale, and exhale. One more breath. Look down, inhale, rise up. Turn your left toes to the right a quarter turn. Adjust your legs. Take your left arm under your right once or twice, eagle wrap. Lift the arms up. Exhale, come down through center. Soften your knees to get there. Once you get there, maybe, maybe not, you'll straighten your legs a little bit. But make sure the weight doesn't go to the heels here, that it shifts forward, weight over. Really now it's almost the balls of the feet, head down. Keep breathing in and out. Inhale, look forward. Come rise up with your arms in the same position. And then open them up. Turn your left toes forward. Find your warrior two. Inhale. And exhale, hands to the floor blocks. Left knee bends. Right hand stays. Left hand opens to the left side. Arm up. So just a lunge twist. You want to stay here or maybe straighten your front leg. So changes the balance, changes the intensity. Breathe, particularly if you have tight hamstrings. Good, exhale, left hand down, left knee bends again. Step back to a three-legged dog, left leg in the air. Open up your hip. And then square your body off, feet on the floor. Downward facing dog. Choose to stay or take movement through your chaturanga, upward 
and downward facing dogs. And breathe. Bring your feet stacked together, right leg high, open the hip, bend the knee. Right knee to chest, step it through. Turn on your left foot, let's just go to warrior two here. Straighten your front leg. Triangle pose, right arm down, left arm up. Stack shoulders. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, stand up, turn your right toes to the right. Bring your right arm under your left once or twice. Heel toe your feet closer. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone. Shift your weight to your left leg, right leg comes up and over, eagle wrap. Adjust your hips, tailbone tucks underneath you. Lift your heart up, breathe in, breathe out. Keep your torso upright today, just because you can. But bring your shoulders over your hips, drop your hips and bring your knees and elbows right to the midline of your body. Take another breath here, sink a little bit lower. Exhale, rise up, release your top leg, step it forward. Turn your back foot forward, hinge forward. And if you'd like, begin to float your left leg up. Warrior three with eagle arms. Breathe in out, beautiful job guys. Take another breath. Nice, Maria. Step back, low lunge, low crescent. Arms up, release. Exhale, hands to floor blocks. Left arm stays, right arm opens, twist. Straighten your right leg. Breathe. Good, either keep your right hand up in the air or put it on your hip. Take your left hand forward. If you're taking the block, bring it in front of you and begin to step your left leg in the air again. Shoulders stack, right arm comes up, twist. Revolved, half moon. Now I know we didn't do half moon and we're just revolving it today or at least now. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep listening to the breath. Pay attention to the breath. Hug your right hip to the center. Then take your left foot, bring it to the right foot, bend the knees, and take your hands to a prayer twist outside the right thigh. So keep the belly lifted away from the thigh. Drop your hips low and pull your hips to the right. So the left knee has to come back and down, and then the, the hips just sway a little bit to the right. Inhale and exhale. So I'll offer up to anybody who wants to, to stay here, open and exalt the arms again. Some of you have an arm balance of a side crow, bending your elbows, placing your hips on either one or two arms, and perhaps floating your feet off the floor. So these are options you can take, you don't ever have to. Being in any pose is challenging enough for our mind and our bodies. Side crow. To go, yes, the side crow. So we were in a chair twist. I'll turn this way. We're in a chair twist, right? Hips are back. If you wanna go to side crow, bring your hands to the outside of your right hip and come on your toes. Try not to sit too low because the idea is to have your hips high enough to sit as you make a ledge for your trice, uh, on your triceps. Now, traditionally, it's only on one arm. It would be your right arm would be free, but um, it's very, very challenging, so try it with two arms to start. Good. So I can't see you, Leah, so I, I'm gonna trust that you're trying it. You wanna just have your hips up high so that you can create that tricep ledge, and then your gaze is steady a little bit out in front of you rather than down, and then maybe the feet come up, and then there's variations on that. Good, so get your hips up nice and high, look forward. Your hands are shoulders width apart. Uh-huh, look forward, look forward, not down. There you go, there you go, there you go. Don't kick, don't kick, you'll face plant. <laughs> we'll come back on the other side, don't worry. Everybody come back, out of that to your chair twist one more time. And then exhale, forward fold. I'll be happy to share with that after class as well. Separate your feet hips width apart. 
Lift your toes up and slide your hands underneath, particularly if you took that um, arm balance. Wrap your big toe around your wrist, look forward, inhale. And then exhale, fold your body in half, let your head hang down. So again, shift your weight away from the heels so the hips are over the heels. That means the weight goes slightly forward towards your wrists. Inhale, halfway lift. And then release your hands to the floor blocks. Lengthen your spine, bring your hands to your hips, rise up to stand. Bring your arms overhead, bring your prayer to your heart as you exhale. Good. Release your arms by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Touch prayer to the heart, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, high to low plank. Choose it or go to downward facing dog. Lift your heart up. Downward dog is where we meet. Feet move closer together, rise up on your toes. Inhale, left leg up. Open your left hip, bend and flex. Or flex and point. Then turn your body square, knee to chest, rounding curl. Step forward, right foot, left foot forward, right foot on its side. We come into warrior two. Good. And right from here, we straighten the front leg. Make any adjustments you need. Find your triangle pose. Reaching out as long as you can, left arm down, right arm up. Stack your shoulders. Reach up, reach down. Bring your tailbone underneath you. Inhale. So see if you can get the right arm straight up to the sky. One more breath. Good. Inhale, rise up, reverse that triangle. Exhale, stand up tall, arms out. Turn your left toes to the left. Bring your left arm under the right once or twice. Inhale, lift your heart up. And then exhale, come down halfway, bend your knees. And then release your hands, the fingertips to the floor. Then perhaps straighten your legs, head down. Again, knees, hips over the ankles so the weight shifts forward and not into the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Rise up with a long spine. Keep your arms as they are. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, lift your left heel up. Inhale, cross the left leg over once or twice. Eagle wrap. Tailbone points to the earth, shoulders back and down. Square your hips. So I know you're to the side now. You'll be able to see the levelness of your hips even to the side, right? Sit as low as your body will allow. Sink a little lower, keep your torso upright, keep your tailbone underneath you. Sit deeper, inhale, rise up. Take your left foot, turn it to the front of your mat, turn your body, your back foot forward. Hinge forward, float your right leg off the floor, point your toes. Warrior three with eagle arms. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. One more big breath. Good, soften the front knee, step back. Release your arms, high lunge. Exhale, lunge, twist. Right hand down, left arm up. Stacking shoulders, hips. Straighten the leg, only if that's where you wanna be today. You know, it's an option, it doesn't have to happen. Good, now. You can either keep your left hand in the air or bring it to your hip as you soften the front knee. Move your block in front of your foot. Shift your weight into your left leg. Lift your right leg. Same positioning, only the leg now comes off the floor. Crown of the head towards the front of the room. Lengthen through your tailbone. Breathe in. Breathe out. Revolve half moon pose. So right arm down, right leg up, left arm in the air or on your hip. One more breath, right foot to left foot. Bend your knees, take your right arm outside your left thigh, chair twist, drop your hips, lift your belly, inhale. So I'll turn to the side again, Leah, so you can see. We're in a chair twist, right arm to the left side, hips hopefully are square. I can't see mine either, so I'm hoping they are. 
If you want to take it into the arm balance, then plant your hands to the floor, bend your knees, but don't get your hips below your arms, right? Below your triceps or cheeks, or even below your elbows. So stay high up, bend the elbows like chaturanga, and then you have a seat, you know, uh, like I said, traditionally on the right arm, and then there's variations with the legs, but let's just get lift off first. Breathe. So lift off comes slowly, perhaps confidently. No jumping, no pushing into it. That's it. All right, if you came down, come back to your chair twist. I'll come back to the front. Come back to your chair twist. And then come back to center, forward fold. Separate your feet. Once again, stand on your hands. Wrap the big toe around the wrist. Look forward, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Play a little tug of war with your hands and feet. Push and pull. Inhale, halfway lift. Release your hands to your hips. Rise up to stand. Feet together, top of the mat. Release your arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, step, high plank, pause. Shoulders over wrists, belly is lifted. Option to be on one or both knees. Option to stay on your right hand and right side, or right knee stays down on the floor. And then any variation you'd like with your top leg. Anything, nothing, it's good. If you have your left arm up, perhaps it goes over your head. Lift out of your bottom waistline. Push your hips forward and up. Take another breath. Exhale, hands to the floor. Just push back to downward dog. Hips up. Good. Inhale back to your plank pose. Pause for a moment in the plank. And then choose to be on one or both knees. Left hand down, right arm up. Maybe the top leg lifts, maybe it comes to a tree, maybe you grab the toe, whatever you want to do. I'm staying in the basic. This is not so basic. Right arm up and over. Keep lifting your left side torso up. Exhale, hands down plank. Downward facing dog. Come high up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees. Look towards the hands. And then jump or step your way onto your seat. So bringing your feet up to your hands, I'm just gonna adjust my mat a little bit to the side. And I think you can all see me. All right, so you came through to a seated position. Let's take the soles of the feet wide, uh, soles of the feet together, knees wide, and legs away from your groin. Take a block if you have it. Place it somewhere in that little diamond. Take your hands under your calves, wrap around your calves, and fold and let your head be supported. So if you don't have the support of a block, like I said, go grab them from Amazon. You could go to Target too. They, they have everything now at Target, right? But if you don't have a block now, you could put um, a couple of books, a lot of blankets rolled up, bolsters. Just keep your heels. This is not an active pose for your legs pulling into your groin. This is a very releasing, your pose. So less tension. So we won't stay too long. Take another two rounds of inhalation, exhalation. <coughs> And then release your arms first, round your spine next, sit up, take your block, move it to your right side, bring your knees together, hold on under the thighs or at the shins, lift your chest up, good. Now release the right arm, release the left arm, sit up tall, bring your chin to your chest, so I'll turn a little bit more this way as well. Round your back from the belly in. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Good. 
Roll down slowly onto your backs. Take your time. Do not miss the lower back. So it's the tailbone, sacrum, lower back, middle back, upper back, arms overhead, legs out in front of you. Reach away, you can hook your thumbs, reach away, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. And as you exhale, bring your knees to your chest. Cross the right knee over the left knee. You can do this once or twice, eagle bind. Open the arms, right arm under left arm once or twice, or hold your shoulders. Inhale, extend arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, come up, arms to the outside of your right thigh. And let's do that two more times. Inhale, release. Exhale, side crunch. One more time, inhale, release. Exhale, side crunch, hold, not your breath. Lower your head, inhale, open the arms. Shift your hips right and let your knees fall to the left. Undo your breath if you need to, once or both. Getting a nice spinal twist in. If you're still wrapped, undo it. Come back to center, hug your knees to your chest. Hug your chest to your thighs, everything comes up. Exhale, head down. Left leg crosses over once or twice. Arms open, left arm crosses under once or twice. Inhale, extend arms and legs away. Exhale, come to the outside of your left knee. Don't hold your breath, inhale, release it two more times. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch and hold, not your breath. Inhale, upper body comes down, arms open out. Hips move left, knees fall to the right. Twist. If you feel more, you know, that you get more satisfaction out of undoing the legs at all, do yeah. that. Before coming back to center, undo your legs, come back. Hug your knees to your chest. Place your feet on the floor. Take your block, we're gonna keep it on the lowest height. Lift your hips up. Slide your block underneath your sacrum and let your body weight sink onto it. We're gonna take our Shavasana this way, so if you don't want to, of course, you can stay on the floor. So the, sole, the, the heels are on the floor for now. Your body weight is centered onto the block. Just let go of all your body physical weight. And then take the soles of the feet together again. Open the knees out to the side. Take your hands on the inner thighs for a moment and just roll the hips open. Now that might deepen your back bend and it may be too much for something. So back off where you need to. Release your arms, take them in the same position as your legs over your head or just open into goalposts. Begin to let go of any more physicality. So being on the block makes you squeeze your glutes, your inner thighs, lifting up your pelvic floor. If you can't let go of that, then just let your body come out. Inhale and exhale. Oh, I love that. And begin to really just settle down. Let go of all physical tension and empty. If your soles of your feet together is just creating too much stress for you, see if you want to just bring the legs out and try to do a little bit more release of your hips as well. And just melt into the earth. Let go. Arms can be by your side. So you can be in your true Shavasana with your hips elevated on the ground.
So if you have the luxury of staying longer in your shavasana, just turn off the sound, turn off the video, and stay for as long as you like. If you need to make your way back in, start to deepen your breath, bring your awareness back. Move your fingers, your toes. Hug your knees back to your chest. Choose your favorite side to roll onto today to rest in your feet pose. And slowly make your way back up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Stay home, stay fit, stay healthy. Wear a mask. Get back.